Alright, so in, I believe it was October of 2007, it was like right before Halloween, um, I was playing a computer game on our dinosaur desktop computer, and I was just there with my mom on the weekend, and she was sorting papers on the floor, so, um, anyway, I was playing this game, and I just had a seizure, and naturally it freaked my mom out but she was a nurse and knew what to do so she took me to the hospital and we were there for hours and hours while they did tests to see if I had taken drugs and they did stuff and look at my brain and they looked at my brain waves so drug tests, MRI, CAT scan, EEG yeah um, but yeah, so I was in 6th grade, I was like 11 years old, I was about to turn 12 the December after, so, so really not, not the best time to get diagnosed. Um, and when I went back to school, I told people what happened, and they teased me, they bullied me a lot, like it was bad, I got discriminated against because I had seizures. I was still Gabby, still the same person, just on medication and had to be careful with what I did or I might have a seizure. That was it. Um, and in seventh grade after that, the bullying continued. It was really bad. I was 12 years old and I was thinking about suicide. It's never okay for anybody. But just like being at that age, and now I would consider myself so young, and so 8th grade, the bullying wasn't as bad as it had been. I mean, people got over it, it was just kind of a thing you now. Some people bullied it, but nobody really listened to them. I didn't really pay attention to it. Ninth grade? went to high school with middle schoolers from all over the rest of the district. So it wasn't just my friends and the people who knew me. It was like three middle schools all came together to form one big class. And there were other people who just didn't get it. They didn't understand. And they taunted me a lot. And I just tried to get over it because that's all the teachers would tell me to do. They were most of them were pretty useless when it came to helping even though our school considered our school district considered themselves as an anti-bullying school district which I think is bull um, trying to help out with that now so to actually make that not as much of a lie as it already is um, but sorry for everybody who knows what district I'm talking about. Not trying to be rude, but just telling the truth. Um, sophomore year, I was in marching band, and I had a lot of seizures because the Texas heat is just not a friend to epilepsy. Um, and people were like, well, you should just like not be a marching band. You should quit. So I did. And I joined athletic tr the athletic training sports medicine team, whatever you want to call us. Um, and I liked that a lot better. I mean, nobody made fun of me there. I mean, there was one person who had a problem with me. And because I had a bunch of seizures because I was taking over everybody else's shifts. So I wasn't getting a lot of sleep. And sleep deprivation is a main seizure trigger for me, along with strobe lights. And this one girl, she said, well, if you're going to be having seizures all the time, why don't you just quit? Maybe this isn't for you. And that <laughs> really ticked me off. That actually made more than more people than just me mad. And so, just, you know, just ignored her. I mean, I was really mad at her, but just left it alone. And what was that? That was, okay, yeah, that was junior year. 
Sorry, my memory sucks. I'm on a new medication. <laughs> um. made fun of my seizures on purpose and singled me out as the seizure girl and um, then it was like April or May we had the junior senior prom and apparently when someone asks to have no strobe lights to prevent a seizure everybody else takes that as Oh, she said no strobe lights. I guess we can just have one. But that one strobe light triggered a seizure. And so I had this big seizure in front of everybody at prom. And that really sucked. And there was this one girl who... Um, she said... I think she said something to other people. Like, oh my god, what a drama queen. You guys know she's just faking this for attention <laughs> like she needs it and so I wrote her a letter um, being the bigger person I wrote her a letter explaining in vivid detail what it was like having a seizure and gave her some statistics and facts about epilepsy that she should know hoping that would make her feel bad but nope just got worse and she... I mean I just ignored her a lot of people were not happy with what she said, but then that was just like one half didn't like what she said and then the other half actually believed her for some reason. And so that just kind of put a lot of emotional stress on me and I didn't like it. Now I'm in college at Texas State University. Go Bobcats! Um, and it's, I mean, there's not, there's no really bullying or taunting, just, like, people who've seen me have seizures, they just kind of, like, avoid me. It's, like, unintentional bullying, kind of, not, I don't know what you would call it, but those are just, like, the major points of my epilepsy, but when I got diagnosed, there was just, like, all these things that I had to give up, like, I can't go play laser t laser laser tag with my friends um, because of the flashing lights I can't go to most concerts so no ACL Austin City Limits for those of you who don't know none of that for me um, yeah so basically no fun stuff <laughs> but actually we found that the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas has these summer camps for people with epilepsy and I got to go there during the summer for a week and I made a lot of friends and now we've had like it's amazing that we only get to see each other for one week every summer but we are still like the best friends and we've been friends for seven years now and one of them she's Actually, we actually found out, like, a summer or two ago, that we're cousins. We're really distant cousins, but still related. <laughs> um, and that's just, like, amazing. Like, everybody at these camps, uh, Camp Spike and Wave, and Camp Kaleidoscope, and Camp Brainstorm, been to all three of them, <laughs> and they're just amazing, the staff and the most of the other campers and the counselors and everybody's just great everybody's really understanding and they all know what I'm going through so it's just like that one place where I am not bullied nobody makes fun of it my epilepsy there's no like I had teachers in high school substitute teachers who were unintentionally being very rude and offensive by making seizure references and they were making jokes out of it. It's hard living in a society where people think it's, uh, and the media also, they think it's okay to joke and make seizure references and it's just not funny. And One time I was watching Grey's Anatomy and somebody faked a seizure, um, they were acting and I laughed and I 
told my mom, I said, that is the fakest seizure I have ever seen. <laughs> and actually, I've never seen a fake seizure, but that was just obviously not real. It's pretty bad acting <laughs> for a medical show. So. But it's just been like going to be 19 next December 2014, and I was diagnosed the October before I turned 12, so it's been an interesting life since then. Um, it's just, I try and get people to do epilepsy awareness, nobody really seems to care or want to, except for the people who are just a part of that, that world. Um, so, like, the people who have epilepsy, the family members of those people, and my friends and my family, like, just my close friends, though, so, I've tried to, I tried to do epilepsy awareness since I got diagnosed, and the school district, they always said, well, go ask student council, and student council always turned me away, and this one guy said, well, we don't do epilepsy awareness because it's not as bad as breast cancer and it's just it doesn't kill people <laughs> bull 50,000 Americans die from epilepsy every year kind of freaks me out I'm a little scared um, it's a thing called SUDEP sudden unexplained death in epilepsy basically person goes to sleep at night and they don't wake up so that's pretty scary I mean like for anybody who has seizures, and I'm tired all the time, so, I mean, I could go to sleep at any point and not wake up, which really freaks me out. Um, but, yeah, so, just told you, like, all my stories about epilepsy and just some facts that I know. Did a statistics project on epilepsy, I've written papers on it for school, and I seem to be able to, like, make, incorporate something about epilepsy and all of my school projects since 8th grade, so that's really interesting to me I'm able to do that, and I have actually been capable of teaching people seizure first aid, which has made my life a little easier. Um, I had a seizure in the hallway in my dorm about a week ago, and my dorm director came, and when I came out of the seizure, I noticed that she had the epilepsy seizure first aid papers that I had emailed to her. She printed them out and wrote my name on them and brought them with her. So I was really happy that she did that, and I'm so glad I have a roommate that is understanding and actually took the time to listen to me and ask me questions about my seizures. So I just wish more people would be like that and it's just like other things seem to matter more and yeah so <laughs> thanks for listening so that's my story